That's 867-1965. Five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Tuesday morning. And let me give you a quick look at the weather from AccuWeather.com. 75 degrees right now, 91 the expected high, 15% chance of rain. Boy, they changed today's forecast, didn't they? Uh, yesterday they were giving us a bigger chance of rain for today. Um, the rest of the week, let's see, Wednesday... Thursday and Friday, they all have a very small chance of rain. Saturday, there's a 35% chance of rain. And Sunday, a 75% chance of rain. So it looks like the weekend might have a good chance of rain. The rest of the week, though, not too bad. And uh, it still feels like summer out there. Galen Newnold is on the phone from Life South. on the phone from Life Whoa, whoa, what's that? Wow. Oh, what's that? Wow. I got a huge <laughs> echo, Galen. I, 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 I hear me. I don't hear you. I hear me. I don't hear you. Oh, gosh. Wow. I can't do that. Gail, can you hear me at all? Gail, can you hear me at all? <laughs> That's crazy. I can hear you twice. I can hear you twice. I, oh, uh, my God. Oh, my God. Galen, you're not there. It's us. Everything we hear is us. us. Everything we hear is He's us. Go. <laughs> He's go. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Hold on. I don't see him. You oh, ha- my. You have to call back, Galen. Oh, my what goodness. What was that about? That never happened before. No. Technology is wonderful, isn't now it? Now we're not echoing. Well, no. It's how you hung up. Maybe he can call on the 622 number. Well, no, he'll call back. Let's call, okay. He'll call back. Yeah, no, what if it doesn't work? Uh, all right, so there's always something. Don't you love listening to live radio? This is why you listen. Exactly. See, we used to have the dog in the studio. The dog would bark when the UPS man came. Yeah. Everybody got to know the dog. Mm-hmm. And Sergeant Curly, who was the UPS man, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> back in those days. <laughs> exactly. Live radio is, is what it is. I know. Well, it I don't see fun him. and interesting. I don't see him on the phone there. Okay, you let me know when, when he comes. There he is. Him. All right. Galen, you there? Galen, you there? Holy cow. <laughs> All I hear is me. Galen? Hey. Galen? Oh, my gosh. Galen, call in on the uh, 622 number. 622 six, number. 622 You know what you sound like when you do that? What? Like uh, that, that commercial for the dog food? Do it again. Dog food? Yeah. <laughs> Six two two nine six two two. There you go. That's the number. Yes. Well, there you go. Is that Galen? I don't know. We'll I find out so. when we get there. Find out when we get. There. Oh, it's doing the same thing, Galen. You got like a repeater on your phone. Like a repeater on your. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh. Because you called in earlier. Because you called earlier to talk to Doctor Mayer, to to and Dr. Dr. it wasn't this way. It wasn't this. <laughs> <laughs> wow! This is great. <laughs> I'm glad this is recorded. This Galen, is are you there? He's not there. Oh, my gosh. That's never happened before. No. All right, I, I, I had something philosophical that I wanted to talk to Galen about. Okay, and then I have do. something fun, too. I have yeah. the, the 19 products that are already on the best-selling mm-hmm. list for Christmas gifts. Wow. Already, October 10th, we're talking about Christmas. But yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't. You want do me it. to call that line, see if it works, if, if it's doing the same thing for us? Because if it is, that works. No, no, because okay. I want to do a show. I'd rather do a show. All right, excellent. All right, so I had a philosophical thing I wanted to ask you about. Okay. okay. Or not ask you about. I have a thought about this. And, okay. And uh, we'll do this while Galen is figuring out what to do with the phone. Okay. I don't know what that, what was causing that. That's, it's over, I don't know. Yeah, because we had a call this morning and it worked out swell. I, Swell. Swell. <laughs> 50 years. <laughs> All right. So, of children's books. So, listen, listen. Um, there's some bad, bad fires out in California. I mean, yeah. 10 people died. I don't know how many acres of land have been burned, just lots of acres of mm-hmm. land. And so, I have a friend out there, a girl I went to school with when we were children. It's funny the people you went to school with as children have a different place in your mind than the people you met later on in life right right so i knew her when we were children children i mean little kids and uh she lives out in in the san francisco area and she lives out in the napa valley area and that's where the fires are and so i stayed in touch once once facebook came around i i somehow connected with her and some other people that i hadn't seen since i was a kid so anyway, so she's been a friend, and you remember we sent her a, a book about, uh, she loves wine. wine. Yes. Wine is her and her mm-hmm. husband's thing. So anyway, so when I heard about the fires, I, I went to ask her, are you okay? And when I went to her Facebook page to ask her, of course, I wasn't the only one. Lots of people were asking, and she responded that they had to get out because the fire was too close to their house, but that they're safe, which is good. Okay, so I posted, and gosh, I hope I don't ruffle any feathers here. I posted... 
I'm, I'm praying for you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm praying for you. Right. Everybody else, and this is California, okay? Pr they don't talk about prayer a whole lot, and I'm, I'm just making an That's observation. Wrong. I'm just making an observation. So they say, you're in my thoughts. Mm -hmm. You're in my thoughts. And I've said, basically, you're in my prayers. Now, I wanted to ta tell you a thought I had about thoughts and prayers, because people sometimes will say the two. They'll say, you're in my thoughts and you're in my prayers. You're, yeah. you're in both of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I've heard some pastors say, what's the point of thoughts prayers is what you should do. So you have, a, th this is an interesting kind of a conversation because you have some people who say you should be in thoughts, you should be giving, not prayers, because there is no such thing as prayer because they don't believe there's a God. All right, yeah, that's their, their issue. Yeah. I believe there is a God. But, but, here's, but here's my thinking on this. And, and those who say prayer is the only thing and thoughts are useless, I don't agree with them either. Because here's, here's my th thinking on this. Okay. If you, if God gave us thought, then he must have given us thought for a reason. Mm -hmm. So if you have a circumstance, um, you're, in, you're in a bind, uh, maybe you need a job, or maybe uh, uh, you need to make extra money for something, or, or maybe somebody is uh, stuck someplace, you need to figure out how to get them home, or whatever. Well, they're in your thoughts and in your prayers. Your thoughts are going to lead you by using the, the gift God gave you of, of logic and reasoning, mm -hmm. your thoughts are going to lead you to figuring out a way to help yourself or help that person, right? Right, exactly. Right? In this case, with the fires, my thoughts are going to lead to, perhaps, um, do you guys need anything? You know, do you need any blankets, any, any food or anything? You know, that's your thoughts, right? Your prayers ask God to handle the things that your thoughts can't, T you can't do anything about. There's exactly. certain things you can't do anything about. So your, right. your prayers take care of the things you can't handle. It's like, it's like I, I drove past the church one time, and on the marquee it said, uh, "God takes care of even the tiniest sparrow, but He does not bring food to the nest." Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, that's exactly this, you know. So you're taken care of, and and prayers do work. But God wants you to use your own thoughts as well. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Am I being too philosophical here? No, no. You hit the nail on the head. So uh, anyway, hey, good morning. I, I, I often think that, you know, like you don't want to ruffle any feathers, right? Right. So when you're talking to people, um, gosh, and I, the friends I have out in California, well, we all grew up together. We went to the yeah. same churches. So I, and Well, maybe they believe in God just because they moved out there doesn't mean that they don't believe in God. But a lot of their friends don't. I mean, or they, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they shy away from words like prayer. Yeah. They're a little embarrassed or whatever you yeah. know, to say they pray. I always pray. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Public. I, I am not a perfect person by any means, but prayer mm -hmm. is part of, part of what I am. And I don't even know that I do it right. I, I don't even know. I'm in my car, and I'm just basically having a conversation with God, and that's just between me and God, and, and I hope that, that I'm right. I hope and that's, that's right. something there. You don't need a, a, a go-between, a, a mediator for God to hear you, is that's what I believe anyway. But, right. I think that, too. I mean, why, would, why would we need one? No. Uh -uh. Good, good morning. You're on He's the air. Available. Hey, good morning, guys. How are we doing? Hey, your phone is working good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Mike. Good. Good. Um, you know, I, I, about a week ago, I, I, I kind of let this sort of go by me. Uh, I, I dealt with it for a little bit because there was something said on the show that uh, kind of, I don't know, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm sorry if, it, if I'm offending anybody, but I don't mean to. It's just making a statement. But something was said that uh, about the uh, the situation in California and, and, and Irma that, well, if you're a if you're a good Christian, you you have to you know you have to pray for these people and so, so. Well, I got news for you guys. You know I'm I'm not I'm I'm Buddhist. You know what? Pray for these people every day. We have the same kind of beliefs that we believe in helping and and caring for and compassion for fellow man. And you don't have to be. Uh, a, a Christian to have a heart that you believe that helping people is the best thing in the world. In fact, that's exactly what 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 our faith, uh, uh, you know, is supposed to project is that helping people, compassion. It's not just 
Christians who do these things. There's lots of other faiths out there who do do this. And so, anyway, that's just my uh, my take on it. I hope it, it's not offending anyone, but it is. It was something that was said that oh, really? just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. Well, I don't. And, uh, did I, say I don't it? think it was meant that way. I don't think it was meant that way. Okay, it wasn't meant to be that. It just did. Well, I, in my crawl. And, and let me just add something to that. I've, I've quite often had to say this, when somebody says, I'm Christian, I believe in the Ten Commandments, and I will say, you know, the Ten Commandments are part of the Jewish law. Right. And, I, and we've, as Christians, adopted that law, um, but the Ten Commandments are part of Jewish law, so you believe mm -hmm. in, in Judaism as well. Obviously, and one God. So, Everybody, every yeah. religion. That but you're, you're absolutely right. I, you know what? I, I know. But I know people who don't believe there's a God at all. They don't have any religion. Mm -hmm. But they're exactly what Mike is talking about. They're just doing good things for people. I, I, I agree with you. I don't think you need that. I think the, 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 the way you learn about what is best for you. Mm -hmm. um, well, I know in the Christian faith they say that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Well. Mm -hmm. That that very well may be true, but it, I can tell you that the road of good deeds does a lot more. There's a lot more than that. And it isn't just, you know, just one faith who does good deeds and, and helps their fellow man. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So, and I, you know, and I anyway, would, I just, just... I would say this, too. Don't listen necessarily to what the Christians say. Listen to what the Bible says, because quite often Christians get it wrong. Mm-hmm. When I when I've looked really? up really, <laughs> I've I've looked up so, things. I've so you up mean things. I'm wasting my time? You know, I watch this comedy show on TV every Sunday. This this comedian named Peter Popoff. Uh -huh. He is so funny. <laughs> have you ever heard of him? I I think I have. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I've ever seen him. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. I tell you something. This guy can sure. He can sure get up there and beg for money. I, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm in the wrong business. Oh, is that a, a priest, Peter Papa? Oh, wow, what a name. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's one of these um, um, TV evangelists, yeah, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, what a yeah. joke, this guy. What, it's amazing, and there's people out there just sitting and waiting to send this clown money. Of course. That's a shame. But, that's a shame. Of course. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, think yeah, you, you I got a clue. You can't buy yourself to heaven either. <laughs> No, and but according to him, you can. <laughs> that's what I mean. Don't believe them. But just if you want to know, read the Bible and figure it out because it's in there. Thanks for listening to thank, me, guys. I appreciate thank, your open mindedness. Thank, but thank you. uh, again, there's, it doesn't take. You don't have to be a, a, a devout, uh, you know, Bible thumper to do good deeds and help people and and pray for people because that's it. you know a lot of us do it otherwise. Thank you, Mike. Uh, let me. Uh, Push a button because we're up against the break. I wonder why Galen's phone was doing that. Yeah. Like Mike's phone wasn't doing that echo thing. And the Hughes phone wasn't doing it. No. During Our, Heidi Myers uh, and Kevin Christian's interview. No, I know. Our, we will be right back. <laughs> the weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Partly sunny on this Tuesday, warm and humid with a shower or thunderstorm in spots, mainly during the afternoon hours, high 86 at the coast to 91 inland. Patchy clouds Tuesday night, low 69 inland, 77 along the coast. Wednesday, times of clouds and sun with a shower or thunderstorm in spots, mainly near the coast, the high 85 to 89. Thursday, partly sunny, high 84 to 88. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printed shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot facility. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will assist you in every part of your custom purchase. LTS carries the hottest brands in the industry like Under Armour, Russell, Mizuno, Asics, Badger Sports, Gildan, Pacific, Ogeo, and many more. At LTS, screen printing embroidery is done in-house and we guarantee customer satisfaction. Stop by, give us a call, or check us out on the web at shoplts.com. Remember the name, LTS. 
I'm Jan Marino from Palm Garden of Ocala, and I'd like to tell you about the Palm Garden Way. We promote individual care, of course, but we also encourage gems. That's going the extra mile, and these are thoughtful individual gifts that make each guest stay special. A gem could be a daily latte or a new book or something else that means a lot to our guest. To find out more about the Palm Garden Way, take a tour located on the corner of 27th Avenue and 34th Street in Ocala. On top of the world, Ocala's premier active adult community is a leader in the industry in both recreational activities and amenities. They utilize superior construction methods to deliver energy-efficient homes. Tune in Wednesday at 9 a.m. Robert Colin with On Top of the World will be our guest to discuss all the exciting new things On Top of the World can offer to current and prospective new residents. So be sure to tune in Wednesday at 9 a.m. On Top of the World. You deserve the world. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. 21 minutes after 8 o'clock. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. Thank you for tuning in. The forecast looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, it doesn't feel like autumn. But it just feels nice. Uh, let's see. The actual temperature right now, 75, 91, the high today. Uh, only a 15% chance of rain. And just real quickly, thumbnail sketch. Looks like that's pretty much the whole story up till f Saturday. Uh, so every day the rest of this week. And then Saturday and Sunday, there's a, a greater chance that we'll see some rain coming in. Uh, Galen Unold is normally on at this time, and he did call in, but there was some kind of a crazy echo going on uh, when we had him connected, so he has not called back, so I don't know if that was a phone issue on his end or our end, I don't know, the technology is just drives me nuts. The important message he delivers, though, just real quickly, is to donate blood. Simple as that. It, there is no other way we have a blood supply in this world other than through uh, blood donors. And uh, Life South has been doing this for a very, very long time. If you go to their website, lifesouth.org, you will find information that you might need to know. I did click on the map to show where the blood mobile will be, and I, they have it. I don't, ha I don't see one for today. I see one for tomorrow at Life Care Center at 2800 Southwest 41st Street. That's mm -hmm. tomorrow from 10 till 4. I see one on Thursday at Deerwood Village, uh, Southeast 18th Avenue, uh, Thursday from 3.30 to 8. And then the only other one they have on here is the actual Blood Donor Center on Silver Springs Boulevard. And they're open from 9 a.m. till 7 p.m. every, every day, basically. Um, so... Uh, if you can donate blood, donate blood. It takes maybe a half hour, you know, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Uh, that's all for whole blood. If you're doing uh, platelets or, or uh, what do you call it, apheresis, you might be in there a couple of hours. Um, but you will be saving lives either way. And I do have a fun topic that I'll, I'll use um, in spite of Galen not be here, but I'll take a phone call first. Good morning. You're on the air. Thank you for calling. Oh, nobody there. Mm. Okay. There it is. They're back. All right. Uh, so I have I have the top gifts that Amazon is selling right now. Nice for Christmas. Can you believe it? Not. Yes, I can. It's, it's getting it's close. October tenth. Good morning. You're on the air. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Hey, you. See, you know, although I'm, I'm not very happy the way California went in the elections or their politics out there, we certainly are, are praying for all the people that are involved in that terrible fire of over a hundred thousand acres burned, uh, eleven deaths. A hundred people still missing and fifteen hundred homes burnt to the ground. Yep, and I I don't know that the friend I have whether her home is gone or not, but uh, the fire was close. They had to get out of there, so hopefully they're yeah, okay. Exactly right, because uh, we have uh, relatives out there too that live near that Napa Valley area, and they evacuated uh, yesterday. And to other family members, uh, they don't know if their home made it or not, and they probably won't for for quite a while because uh, wow. the whole thing is out of control yet. Wow, that is it is scary, scary, yeah. crazy. Yeah. You, you know, so. Hopefully. So anyways, our prayers are with them out there, even though I don't like their politics. <laughs> <laughs> well, th I appreciate you, you saying that. I, I wanted a, a comment on that, though. Um, you know, whenever there's an area of the country or even the world where we don't like their politics, 
you, you're bound to find somebody there who also doesn't agree with the politics of the of the very area that they live in. Mm-hmm. I can tell you how many times does somebody uh, say New York is for a heathen, for example. It's not heathen. Everybody I know up there goes to church. Uh, my my brother Bob lives in Southern California. He's not heathen. He's not. He's mm-hmm. he, he's uh, a, a big Rush Limbaugh fan, as a matter of fact. My brother. So I, I, I don't. I don't know. So yeah. All right. Thank you, Hugh. Appreciate the call. Okay. Final. All right. So on a lighter note, let's do this. I have the uh, products from Amazon that are already on the best-selling list for the Christmas season. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for this? I am set. Um, a kitten-themed card game. Oh, isn't that cute? A kitten-themed card game. Be great for Dr. Meyer. Uh, she loves it, cats. It'll make you laugh out loud, but also wonder what goes on inside creators' minds. We went on a family trip with my siblings and had a blast playing this game. Mm-hmm. It's $19.99. Nice. It was easy to learn, and each game went so fast, it's addictive, I don't think anyone will play just one round. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what it's called. Nice That's to what, look that up. It, that, that sounds like fun. It doesn't have the name of it, though. Well, I'm sure we could Google it and find out. Uh, the next one is the uh, Pikachu Light. It's a, it's a light that is in the shape of Pikachu, the uh, the ca- cartoon character. Oh, okay. And uh, it, it glows uh, a, a beautiful navy blue. Oh, <laughs> okay. Plug it in and it turns on. It says $18.52. That's the big seller. Uh-huh. This next one, you're going to love this one. Okay. $15.99 comes in five different colors. It is a self-cleaning hairbrush. Okay. You pull the you pull the little device on the outside, and all of the hair that's trapped in your brush comes out uh-huh. in one swift action. Ooh, that sounds scary. <laughs> all the hair comes out. Wow. My hairbrush is horrible. Uh huh. It's loaded with hair. Oh, I clean mine every day. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> yeah, I do. I can't stand a dirty hairbrush. I brush my hair and then clean it and throw the hair away. Uh, a five pack of super comfy. Cotton Undies is uh, also on this list. A big seller for some reason. $16.99. Are they superheroes? No. Just Cotton Undies. Cotton Undies, yes. Are they like bright colors? I need a pair it, of red ones. Pastel undies. colors. Oh, boring. Uh, they come from small to extra large. Okay. Men and women? or No, they're ladies. Okay. Uh, well. Okay. <laughs> most, most of the men I know wouldn't wear them. Okay. <laughs> The next one is a, uh, this is a cool one. Oh, okay. Wow. This is a notebook. Okay. That, it's called the, uh, hold on, I don't know what it's called. But I know what the pen is called. The pen is called the Pilot Frixion Pen. Anyway, oh. this is a notebook that lets you take notes by hand. Uh-huh. And then transfer those notes to a cloud service, like iCloud or something. And then microwave the book. To erase what you've written and reuse it. Really? Yes. I got to get one of those. That sounds awesome. $19.97. Wow, that's affordable to me. Uh, It says, the benefit of writing my hand and having those notes backed up digitally is amazing. I also love that I was able to buy a pack of Pilot Pilot Frixion pens for less than $10. So this is a book. You write in the book, just like any book, and somehow it transfers it to your computer or to to the... Cloud. But you need a pilot Crixion pen. I don't know. That's what it sounds like. Cool. This is neat. But you get pens for ten dollars. Uh huh. And uh, the the book itself for nineteen ninety seven. And you are now writing in a book, sending it to the cloud, mm-hmm. and then you can reuse the book simply by microwaving it. Wow. That is an improvement on the etch a sketch. Then I gotta this see is this. Cool. I, I do too. This. We gotta go to the store today. The next is a pillow. It's called the Happy Loaf. <laughs> <laughs> it sells for eleven dollars and sixty nine cents. Uh huh. And it looks like a loaf of bread, but it is a pillow. Okay. There you go. That's a good one. Okay. The next is a uh, do it all pressure cooker that whips up meals uh, with little effort on your part and in less time. Yeah, those pressure cookers are fast. They're uh, they're real. I mean, gosh, you know, my grandmother was those pre- pressure cookers have been around since the beginning of time. It says I cooked the beef stew in thirty minutes. Yep. Hmm, that's $69.99. Yeah, those those pressure cookers are nice. Oh, 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 oh the Lucy Goosey is okay. also on the list. It's a long sleeve dress for, for ladies. Okay. Uh, 
Oh. What? And a RFID blocking wallet so nobody can get information from your cards with one of those devices okay. that read cards through your pants. Is there one more? There's, there's more. The Spirograph Art Kit. Remember when you were kids? Oh, I love that. It's back. Nice. And it's popular. And we've got to go. Oh. Go donate blood. Thank you. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. Firefighters, homeowners, and neighbors are trying to save houses from wildfires in Northern California with at least 1,500 homes and businesses now burned and at least 11 people killed. Fire crews are being brought in from away. It makes it difficult for us. I mean, we got to get into areas that we don't really know, we never see on a daily basis, and we have to plan accordingly. The fires broke out Sunday night. The movie producer Harvey Weinstein sent an email asking for help just before being fired from his studio over sexual misconduct allegations. The email went to a number of high-ranking Hollywood executives saying, quote, Allow me to resurrect myself with a second chance. A lot of the allegations are false, as you know. Weinstein ended by saying, I am desperate for your help. Just give me the time to get therapy. Do not let me get fired. If the industry supports me, that is all I need with all due respect. I need the letter today. Fox's Michelle Polino. Fox News. We report. You decide. Come with me on another journey around the globe. From National Geographic comes an all-new six-part series with Morgan Freeman. Searching for answers to humankind's biggest questions. How can you hate me when you don't even know me? Meeting inspiring individuals from all walks of life. When people see someone helping another person, I think it's infectious. This is what it means to be human. This is the story of us. The Story of Us with Morgan Freeman premieres tomorrow at 9, 8 central on National Geographic. Napa know-how. Right now, Napa Full Synthetic Motor Oil is on sale for just $4.29 a quart. Quality motor oil at an affordable price. A deal so good it practically sells itself. Which begs the question, what do we do with the rest of this commercial? Repeat the deal, I guess. Napa Full Synthetic Motor Oil for just $4.29 a quart. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. General States pricing. Sales prices do not include applicable state local taxes or recycling fees. Offer ends 10 31 17. Howdy folks, R.L. here for Dairy Queen again to tell you about what's hot and what's not. Dairy Queen has some of the best char-grilled chicken breasts on earth, as well as their chicken breast salad. And the burgers are exceptional, cooked on a real grill for the best flavor and less fat. And for dessert, blizzards are unequaled. Personally, banana split is my all-time favorite. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Robin, October is pork month. Does that mean we can really ham it up? Yes, like we don't already. It's just an excuse for everyone to indulge in all their favorites like ham, ham sandwiches, ham salad, and... I know where we will be eating a lot this month. Honey Baked Ham and Cafe on Southwest 27th Avenue behind Best Buy. Hey, while we're there, we can order our holiday meals. You know, they even cater for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, now is the time to order. We don't want to miss out on the special sides and desserts. Honey Baked Ham, the world's best ham. Except for Larry. <laughs> Bicycles are great fun. You see nature up close. You get no impact to exercise. The possibilities are endless. You can start your bicycling adventure at Brick City Bicycles. Young or old, experienced or a new rider, visit Brick City Bicycles at 217 Southeast First Avenue right here in Ocala. Brick City Bicycles has everything all under one roof. With holidays right around the corner, Santa wanted you to know now's the time to lay away that special gift. Stop by today. Brick City Bicycles. I'm Jan Marino from Palm Garden of Ocala, and I'd like to tell you about the Palm Garden Way. We promote individual care, of course, but we also encourage gems. That's going the extra mile, and these are thoughtful individual gifts that make each guest stay special. A gem could be a daily latte or a new book or something else that means a lot to our guest. To find out more about the Palm Garden Way, take a tour located on the corner of 27th Avenue and 34th Street in Ocala. Hey, Jen, long time no see. Wow, Larry, it's good to see you too. Hey, if you've got the time, let's get together. How about a cup of coffee, some chat? Oh, I'd love to. How about you and Robin and I can sit down on October 17th? I'll tell you what's new at Palm Garden. Please tune in on Tuesday, October 17th at 11 a.m. for Health Matters when we talk with Jan Marino about Palm Garden located on the corner of Southwest 27th Avenue and 34th Street. The entire world watched. They watched each step down the rungs of that small ladder. 
one after another, and waited with great anticipation for that last step. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. At that moment, humanity saw the impossible become the possible, and today the sky is not the limit. Achievement, pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. The Marion County Fair is October 27th through November 5th. Ten full days of rides, concerts, motorcycles, beauty pageants, a battle of the bands, talent competitions, and good old-fashioned fun. Featuring recording artists Lucas Hogue, Gemma Adams, Norman Lee Schaefer, Stephanie Quayle, and Jeff Golden as Elvis. Get a wristband and have unlimited fun while supporting Florida Kids Helping Kids. The Marion County Fair is at the Marion Military Academy off Baseline Road. For more information, go to MarionCountyFairFL.com. One of the best things about living in beautiful...